Hi, in this video I would like to offer you two extensions of the basic concepts on model predictive control that we introduced in the previous videos. First, soft constraints. Let's recall that in, uh, in the MPC problems that we stated in the previous videos, we considered some optimization cost and then we considered some constraints. These were constraints on the control signal, but there were also inequality constraints on the states or even the output variables. Now, the trouble with this formulation is that it can happen if your constraints are too stringent that your MPC controller could not find the, the feasible solution. The problem will be infeasible and that may be a major problem. There is, a, however, a way out of it. If your constraints are not really that stringent, it's a wise idea to introduce new optimization variable, additional optimization variable, epsilon, and together with it two vectors, v min and v max. These will be fixed. Sorry for the typo. Now, uh, as I've said, uh, epsilon will be a new optimization variable. And now you will in this, uh, this optimization variable epsilon will allow you to actually break the constraints, but in order not to do it very much, you include epsilon also in the cost function together with some weight. And that's it. Another extension that I would like to offer you is uh, called uh, control horizon, as compared with the prediction horizon that we've already explained. Let me recall that uh, typically our optimization criterion looks uh, like this, the standard quadratic cost. And now, now besides all other constraints, it seems to be wise to include also the constraint that it's only the first few uh, terms of the control sequence that are non-zero, whereas the other ones, starting with uh, capital N sub U, are zero, still the end of the prediction horizon. Now the capital N sub U is called control horizon and uh, capital N is the prediction horizon. Obviously N sub U should be smaller. In fact, you can uh, express this requirement equivalently by introducing uh, uh, introducing a separate summation symbol for for the term corresponding to to the increments in U. But this uh, here you will uh, do the summation only over the much shorter uh, control horizon. And indeed, uh, it's really very practical uh, idea to keep and very small. Perhaps starting your iterations with two or three, and only make it larger if uh, you cannot uh, satisfy the constraints or if your performance is simply not good enough over the prediction horizon.